So we've had a discussion about what it is we're going to do when we come off the Ashby Canal in the next few days. Uh, so I thought I'd get you to the map again and show you what we're going to do. So here we are. Here's the waterways of England, Wales. We are, where are we? We are right there. Marsden Junction, right in the middle of the country. So the plan is uh, we have to be there, as reported before, beginning of June to get the boat out of the water, do some painting. But that is two months away. Uh, so we've got a lot of time to kill. So we're going to go up to Faisley, visit my brother Jeff, up to Fradley Junction, and across the Trenton Mersey, and up to Stoke and Trent and Etruria. And then we're going on the Colden Canal here. So we're going to go up to Leek and then also up to Froggall. Now there's a tunnel at Froggall that's very low and assuming our profile fits, uh, we might hopefully get through it. But we've heard great things about the Colden Canal. Uh, this area was very industrial in the 19th and 18th centuries, producing potteries, Wedgwood, etc. A lot of history, a lot of canal architecture, so really looking forward to it. So get this blooming decorating done and we can be on our way. Well, it's a grey Sunday morning. It's about 10 o'clock. But that's not stopping the Skylarks. They've been singing all morning since the crack of dawn. And hopefully you'll be able to hear them. It's really difficult to spot them in the sky. They go up so high. bit of traffic noise in the background as well it doesn't make it easier well, final time past the Triumph motorcycle works you can get a guided tour around there for a, the next 15 quid somebody told us if you're interested in bikes we're not a narrowboat factory that might be different. Oh, yeah, no such thing. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly the countryside has changed with the factories here, the Triumph factory, and another big line of uh, building units in the state. And just five minutes ago, we were in the middle of nowhere, and I managed to get footage of a um, water vole as it swam from the bank right up to the side of the boat and then back again and just before that was a white egret actually I don't know if there's any other kind of egret I think they're all white aren't they? No I don't but think so. It's an egret which are actually quite quite rare here we don't see that many but within five minutes it's suddenly road and traffic and factories and it was just, just pure countryside a minute ago. Only about five miles from the end of this canal yeah, I think so, five, six miles. So we've got to get our skates on if we're <laughs> going to live up to our promise of getting the galley and the uh, saloon done before we leave this canal. We have to because we've got other plans. We'd like to do some outside um, work on the boat before it goes in for blacking. So we really do have to get this little bit of inside stuff done. Yeah, it's practice doing some painting on the outside, isn't it? Yeah. So. I've been dying with man flu. Have you told him? No. Oh, I've been so ill. He's been ill. Been ill. And uh, it's but amazing that I'm upright, to be honest. That's only because I just bought you ice cream at the last farm Stop shop. Tell them that. Well, I've had enough moping around. We've been here for a day or two. We're only half a mile from the end of the Ashby Canal. I've had this blooming awful man flu for a week. I'm just getting over it now, so I'm just so frustrated that we should be off this canal, everything done, uh, but not been able to do much. As you can see from behind, got the tiles put up. 
So job for today is to get the tiles grouted. So I've got the mixture, I've got to sort it out some grey grouting and uh, I think it looks good. And then we're going to paint the walls in the next day or so and then we're off. So here goes. That's the first ducklings we've seen this year. And we think she's got 14 we counted. Look at that lot. She's a clever girl. There's a great gaping hole behind the cooker. If you can just see, there's a gas stopcock there. Uh, this, this electric cable I've just fed through there before we did the tiling. And at the end, we're gonna have, um, right at the very end down here, a couple of three pin plugs and a USB charging plug there as well. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is just cover this over with some board uh, tile it and then have a little handle on it that we can lift it in and out to access the stopcock uh, make it look much easier and uh, stop things from dropping behind like soap dispensers and dishwashing brushes etc we just wanted to say a few hellos to some lovely people that we've met along our journey on the Ashby um, one of our followers, Steve Hoare, has been with us right from the beginning. Yeah. And so we met up with Steve and Sue and had a nice little drink one night in the nearby pub, along with Mark from last Derbyshire Minor, Minor yeah. Narrowboat. Um, he's on Twitter and, and does some lovely comments, lovely photographs. And uh, also we had a message from a lady called Katie, who had, on our advice, tried the soap nuts, but she didn't get on with them. And she just sent a message to us one day saying, if you're passing us on the Ashby, got a bag of soap nuts you can have. Yeah. And within a couple of minutes, we got this wave. And uh, so, hello, Katie and Luke. Sorry we didn't get to meet you, Luke, but yeah, thanks for the soap nuts back. Sorry they didn't work out for you. Oh, they're like, we've got soap nuts aplenty now, haven't we? How long is that going to last, the soap nuts? Well, we've got, we got to stay on the boat for a couple of years, I think, so. <laughs> with uh, Nor not Nora, Edna. Well, we're still getting on with them really well. It's obviously not everybody's cup of tea, but it's fine for us. Um, yeah, it's been a busy, busy time on the Ashby, isn't it, for meeting people? Yeah, yes, it's been a great canal, lovely people. Did I, I told them I've been ill. <laughs> no, they know I've been really ill. If, if any of you remember, some time back I talked about making elderberry rub, which is really good for colds and coughs and flu and to fight things off. But some people just won't be told. It, does, it doesn't taste great and he doesn't believe it. But it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it, that mm. I've not been ill? Oh, that's true. <laughs> I like anyway, the misery of being ill. <laughs> maybe I like the misery. <coughs> He's much better now, aren't you? I'm much better, yes. Thank you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've also we've made a big mistake um, by saying publicly that we were not going to leave the Ashby Canal until we've done our work. Because so many people, boats have just passed us by, not said hello it's floating our boats rich and fred just said have you finished your work yet <laughs> <laughs> so we're frightened now we actually do want to get off and we did we would have probably gone without finishing our work but we're frightened because too many people are checking up on us so we won't be doing that again so we've just got a couple of days haven't we left here now and then we'll be off on adventures new yes we've got to yeah. retrace our steps because if you remember we went to atherston uh where we turned around when the canal here became open after the bridge repairs. So we're going to retrace our steps back up through Nuneaton and Atherston, then up to Faisley, and then back on Pastures New. So oh, uh, yeah. an exciting journey yeah. ahead. Yeah. And it's a sunny day today. And unfortunately, we are going to be in decorating on a sunny day, which is unheard of for us. Mm. But, you know, we're going to have an, a month or so without any decorating, hopefully now. Just... And... Uh... So I'm I'm going to uh, grout tiles, Francis. Yes. So what are you going to This is doing? my job. This is the cupboard that um, many moons ago I fished out of the canal. In L or a, London. A CRT mm -hmm. man fished out the canal for me. And this is going to be painted, cleaned up, painted, and go up in the kitchen. 
so I'm really chuffed about that and then later I'm gonna we've bought some new dog clippers cordless dog clippers Jessica come here come here Jess Jessica. had a haircut yesterday we didn't film it unfortunately but look at her she looks like a little puppy again Yay, look at you so Jess has been done and um bungalow down cool. here is next rather you than me friend <laughs> he's been in the canal this morning he's soggy once he's dry and i've done my painting so we'll see if he's going to be in good we'll put a little bit of video on of him having his hair cut so well we better get cracking then haven't we yep so um should we put the kettle on then <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got any donuts but... oh no you've done it that's all i'm going to be thinking about now is donuts all right catch you later Bye. How's it going your end, Fran? Yeah, it's all right, I think. It's uh, going to need a second coat. There's any Sloan paint. Uh, that's a bit easy to use, but I'm not the world's best painter. But yeah, we'll see. First coat going on. What colour is it? Grey. Grey. <laughs> Surely. I don't know. Hang on a minute and I'll tell you. It's some fancy dance grey. Because nothing can just be grey, can it? Well, I don't know. Hang on. What colour are we? Chicago grey. Chicago. Who, who knew? knew? <laughs> Chicago was grey. Chicago, Chicago. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Well, Not a great lover of grey, to be honest, but it's all very cream in here at the moment, isn't it? And uh, sorry, the, the dresser that we bought secondhand is also grey. But that has not been painted very well, so we're going to give that another coat to match. Yeah. Um, and the reason we're swapping over cupboards at the back is we keep bashing our head on the corner of that. Because the cooker, we think, used to be here, in that space there, and has been turned backwards. So that would make sense if the cooker came out to here you wouldn't be banging your head on the corner of that there. So anyway, I think it's going to look nice and countryfied. Fran, don't you? I think so. The great thing about this paint, I'm not trying to be an advert, but at its, at it's load, is it's drying really, really quickly. Yeah, chalk paint um, does, doesn't it? So hopefully I'll be able to get both coats on today. And is the cupboard coming down today? Yes, that's yeah. coming down when Crashing I finish the grating. Yeah. And then, yeah. So good. Uh. That's it, finally leaving the Ashby. It's uh, taken us all but four weeks, I think. We didn't quite keep our promise about um, finishing the work. We're nearly there. We're just waiting for one coat of paint to dry and then top coat tonight. So with a bit of luck, we won't be sleeping off of the Ashby until we're finished. Is that right, Rich? With a bit yeah. of luck. <laughs> so we're now back going towards Nuneaton again. Um, so retracing footsteps once again, um, but within a few days, hopefully, well, no, probably about a week, isn't it, before we're on new territory? Yeah, well, we won't be on new territory till we get past Great Haywood Junction, yep. which is I reckon a week away. Yeah. So we've got a, my daughter's coming tomorrow, Claire, uh, for a two, couple of days. Then we're going to visit my other brother Jeff, my twin brother Jeff, and then we're going northbound. Hurrah! And uh, what's anything to say about summing up on the Ashby? Or a fab, oh yeah, or a fab canal. It's really worth. The 22 miles there and the 22 miles back, it's a lovely stretch of canal, especially once you've got through Hinkley. And uh, there's lots to do, lots to see, and we loved it, didn't we? we so, did love it. Love, yeah. love it. Who knows if we'll ever be back? I hope we will one day, but uh, pasture's new, I think, now, and we're ready for it, don't you? I'll definitely say, give it a couple of weeks if you're going to do it. Don't be one of these that needs to rush to the end and back in no. 24, 48 hours, because there's no point. It's so lovely. Yeah. You need at least two weeks, I think, to do that properly. Yeah. Anyway, here we go, onwards, Nuneaton, here we come.
Well, this is Hearts Hill Yard in between Nuneaton and Atherston on the Coventry Canal here. It's an old blacksmith's and uh, carpenter's yard. Uh, still in use by the CRT for certain things. And uh, we're just getting water here. Just stop for a bit. On our way to Atherston. Where are we going, Claire? To look at boats. With, <laughs> with Big Brother Bob. Oh, yeah. Going mob handed. <laughs> <laughs> so we're uh, at Atherston. We've been here for a few days. And now we're going into Birmingham to look at a boat with Bob. Yeah, let's go look at a boat! <laughs> a boat with huh. big brother Bob. Much machinations going on now about shall we shall you, we. You can hear all the cogs going around yeah. in their brains. <laughs> Lovely boat. Um, it's all been done up nicely hasn't it? Very nicely 50 yeah. 50 foot yep. semi-trad. Ready um, to go. Ready to go so. Not our decision though is not it? We decision. know what we would do but <laughs> it's uh, not up to us. <laughs> Anyway, look at this, we're on the uh, University campus in Birmingham. Lovely grounds. I mean, I was brought up in Birmingham, I've never been here before. It's lovely. Well, here we are. Our very first lock in over a month. And we've done 58, 59 miles of lock free canaling, pootling along the Ashby. And now we've got something like nine locks to do today. I'm looking forward to it. Missed running across the locks and opening the paddles and all that that entails. It's good fun. Yeah. 